seriously, I wish one day that uh, seriously, I wish one day that the trans would be accepted, and you know, it would make us easy to live in a world where there's conflict and uh, prejudice, ignorance, and all. I hope people would really understand us more and give us a chance to move around. That's my dream, for trans to be treated equally like a normal person. Seriously, good or bad, you know, that's my dream. I want the trans to be accepted in a way that give them a chance to work, give them a chance to prove themselves. I'm, I know some trans are bad, some trans are good, but if you don't give them a chance, you never know, right? So my dream is I hope that one day people will just see trans as they are and just give them a chance, that's all, seriously. Because I have been suffering a lot inside as a trans. I know what it feels like to be looked down, to be criticized by society, to be unaccepted by society. So it's really the worst thing that a trans could go through. Being a trans is already bad enough. And you have to go through that daily battle with society, cat calls, critics, ignorant all the time. It's even harder. That's why sometimes some trans can be rebellious. You can give them rebellious feelings and rebe rebellious act because they feel that they have been, you know, uh, push around, knock around and not given a chance and they just become rebel, you know? My personal dream? I don't have big dreams or anything. I just wish that uh, I would settle down one day, you know? To have a family, seriously. I've always, I love children. I know I cannot have one, but I always imagine one day maybe, who knows, who knows? If I happened, I've said before I've given up hope, I know, but then there's always a dream in us, right? So I'm not going to lie about this. Sometimes I dream like maybe one day, who knows, I find the love of my life who can accept me and love me for who I am and understand me deeply. And I would like to live with that person for the rest of my life and maybe adopt kid and have a family. That's my dream because I've always seen myself as a lady and I've, I'm a very romantic person, I'm not going to lie about it. And I've got so much love to give to people. Who knows, I might find Mr. Right one day. That's my dream. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Well, it's still a dream. It's only a dream. Yeah. It's not about brave for me. It's not about being brave. It's about fighting for who you are. It's about fighting for what you want, you know? I'm not talking about the terms brave, okay? It's all about fighting for who you are, fighting for what you want, and make people known that people like us exist. And yeah, it's a, uh, how do I say it's, it's hard in a Malaysia, in a Muslim country, it's hard. But every day is a battle for people like us, okay? Every day is a battle for people like us. We come out every day, we have to face critics, we have to face cat calls, we have to face discrimination. So every day is a battle. That's all I can say for people like us. Every day is a battle. Then we have to just shown to people that's all that we are still surviving and this is what we are this is who we are so the world is big enough for all of us so accept us or just hate us that's all i can say that's my personal point of view fight for what you believe in be who you are and uh, yeah life is not about finding yourself it's about creating yourself as i said before so yeah. Um, it's not easy, but it will happen if we fight for what we want. I really don't mind if a straight person or you know a normal person would come and ask and try to get to know us. I would surely you know clarify everything with them about being like this and that. Then if the person maybe like you say they are afraid, I don't know whether to ask is impolite or blah blah blah, then. At least they can do is just walk away, you know, don't condemn, don't make fun, don't belittle, walk away, you know. But I personally would love for all these 
straight people or normal people to at least have the courtesy to come and ask why are you like that and you know ask I'm always I, I like that I like you know telling people or educating people in a way you know give us a chance to prove ourselves you know do not condemn us do not belittle us in public you know do not trying to put out negative remarks on us just because of who we are you know that's you know by just understanding us in that way that would really help us a lot we're not asking uh, for you know no we're not asking for everybody to accept it. acceptance is a very big word you know we are asking for just be tolerate with us you know? tolerant you know just if you don't like us leave us alone don't belittle us and don't make us feel like we are not you know we are not we are an uh, outcast or anything because that is not right. That's all what we are asking for. I think most of the trans are asking for the same thing. They just do not know how to voice out or scared to voice out. What can you learn? What do you want to learn from people like us? Ask yourself. What do you want to learn? Okay, for a normal person, seeing an abnormal person, first thing is like they have to ask themselves, what do I want to learn from that abnormal person? What is it that what is like being abnormal or you're trying to put yourself in the position? It's either that or you ask yourself what you want to learn. Then that's how you go from there. You know? Am I right? Do I make sense? There's never ending to learning. Normal, abnormal or whatever. There's, every day is a learning process.